There are so many ways to transform a space and upcycling is not only budget friendly but also allows you to add your own personal touch. In this room, instead of going to the shops and buy a lot of new items, I try to revamp items that I already had. I'll show you in the room how I've painted onto glass, onto tin, onto metal items, revamped old photo frames to make it look new and fresh and stunning. So here we're standing in a teenager's room that we've revamped and redesigned using chalk or paint. You don't need to prime or sand the surface being painted. It has a built-in sealant, which makes it so easy to use. So the wall behind me was previously a brick wall that we've used a paint technique called a whitewash technique to create the effect that's on the brick. So you still see some brick, but there's some color added to the bricks as well. It doesn't leave that orangey color. I've used Lorraine's green, which is a creamy color, to create that effect. On the other wall, I've used Vinya stone, which is a warm gray color. We've painted the wall with that. Then I've custom designed a stencil in the lyrics of Never Grow Up. And we've used our product called Stencil of Paris, which gives your stencil work a raised effect. So I've moved the stencil in different ways to cover the entire wall. What we did next is we moved to the furniture. So we bought some pine furniture and we've used the colors Vinya Stone, which is a warm grey, cement grey and then Lorraine Scream to paint the furniture and we also used a technique called a dry brush technique We you actually use very little paint on your brush and you just brush it to give it a subtle distressed finish. So on the desk and the mirror table I've used those colours and those techniques. It was so much fun to create the study section in the room. I took an old pegboard lying around at the factory I've given it a light sand because it's a duco coated surface and I've painted it in sheriff stone which is a very dark grey. Now what makes this nice is that the pegboard is actually also a magnet board so she can peg things and also use the magnets to pin things onto her pin board. Next I bought some old crates and I transformed it into a bed pedestal and a bookshelf. I've then again used the cement grey colour and I've dry brushed with cloud white and very cost effective. She has a bed pedestal and a bookshelf that didn't cost a lot and it looks stunning. After that process we moved to the bed. So I took old photo frames without having to sand them down or to put primers on them. I've simply painted on them. I've used different techniques. Some I've just dry brushed, some I've really done in a distress finish with our antique brown glaze that gives it more of an antique finish. So I've played around with imagination. I actually just went wild. And with, for a final touch, we use some fairy lights to create a final touch at her headboard. So the old photo frames are now a headboard. It's unique, but it looks stunning and it's a timeless room. After that, I put on the curtains. So the curtains were old curtains and I've stenciled the bottom of the curtains in a lace stencil. I've created a lovely light fitting using all my old used chalk or paint glass jars. I've painted them, I've applied some beads on a speaker wire, I've attached it to a round wooden piece plywood and it's been applied to the ceiling. I've put some fairy lights into the glass jars. In a very cost effective way, I've created a beautiful light fitting in the corner of the room. The dustbin in the room is an old used galvanized bucket that we've painted and a nice way to transform it is with a water slide transfer, which is a product that you dip in water and you slide it onto the painted surface and it leaves behind a beautiful finish and design. 
So the final touch in this room will be an old ottoman that I will repaint, both the wood and the upholstery. As a final touch, I will add a stencil and I don't need to seal it afterwards. First Nadine paints the legs of the ottoman using a dark colour as her base allows her to do a dry brush technique with a light colour. For the fabric part, she dampens it with water so that too much paint doesn't end up being absorbed by the fabric. Then she paints directly over it. To add a bit of character, she paints some lines and a stencil design. Revamping a boring space is so much easier and more exciting than you think. With so many paint techniques to use, you can transform any item or piece of furniture into a brand new masterpiece.